And welcome to El Dente Rigamortis. I'm Review Cultist. And I'm Dr. Leviathan. And we're here to discuss those internet stories, most creepy and most pasta. Tonight we have Autopilot. So for those of you just tuning in, uh, creepypasta are scary campfire stories that get copied and pasted across the internet. Uh, You can go Google for a better explanation, but that's pretty much it. So Autopilot um, was first posted up on the Reddit forums, uh, No Sleep. And then uh, has been archi- since been archived on the Creepypasta wiki. So you can check that out if you want. Um, there's also a good reading of it by Mr. Creepypasta. So for the rundown, um, it's essentially this guy. He's narrating um, or disca- talking about how uh, people enter uh, an autopilot when uh, d- uh, when they enter, like when they go into their daily routine. So they like think like the routine blurs it together and. Uh, this one day that particular, uh, he forgets, or his alarm goes off, and, uh, he forgets to charge it. So, he puts it on the charger on the table, and oh, goes no, about he his... he didn't forget to charge it, it's a new phone, and it right, yeah. left apps running, which used up the power during the night, so he wakes up to the alarm on the phone, and he's like, ah, oh, fuck, I gotta charge this bitch. Yeah. Sorry, that's what I meant. Um, so he puts the, char- has it charging on the table, goes and does his daily, his morning thing, um... And then goes to, into the goes to the car with his uh, daughter Emily and drives to work. Although he's going to drop off Emily at the daycare on the way there, and he's going on about it and how um, the sun was really warm that day. And so Emily like tries to su- uh, switch seats so that she can uh, get well, away. Out she of the shifts sh- in her yeah. seat. Yeah. from what I understand, she's in a car seat. Right. Yeah. Um, and he goes to work, does his daily routine, um, gets uh, about halfway through the day, and he goes to get his phone, and he realizes it's on the table. And his autopilot, his routine, has been um, hampered, uh, disrupted. So he, he's just kind of pissed off about that, but he continues on the day. It's a really warm day. The sun is just beating down. Um, people are going on, on the beach and having barbecues and stuff. And he gets into his car at the end of the day, and uh, notices this weird smell because it's just because it's so hot in his car, and then drives home, goes to meet his wife, and the wife is just like, "Where's Emily?" And it's like, "Shit, I forgot her at the at the uh, daycare." All right, so she he runs back to the daycare, goes to like the door uh, while trying to come up with a uh, an excuse why he did it, and sees a note on the thing, um, "Please use the side door due to vandalism that night." And then that's where he stops because he realizes. Uh, what? That wait, sign wasn't here this morning? Sign? Wait, w- I wasn't here this morning. Oh, God. And he slowly starts turning to the car, goes to the car. Well, in his head, he's just, like, going off. It's like, the ca- uh, the phone was on the table. Um, the heat, the car, there's no water, there's no air, there's no help. The ca- uh, phone was on the table, the phone was on the table, blah, blah, blah. And then he opens the car door, and he's like, the phone was on the table. My And my daughter Emily was dead. And that's where it ends. So, yeah, it's a pretty dark, kind of more realistic creep pasta than we do on the show. Well, you say but, realistic, but I don't buy well, that. Here's the thing: <laughs> this is a, a, a bunch. I was actually going into the comments of this one, and a bunch of people have been saying that this is essentially almost scene for scene, um, or at least like not word for word, but scene for scene. The um, the defense of a father in the states that had this exact thing happen, <laughs> so it is kind of realistic in that in that case because it is an actual event. It is an actual uh, event that happened somewhere in the states where somebody left their kid in their car. I still don't time. buy it. I know, and we'll get into why you. Don't buy it. <laughs> but um, so. I was reading it, and I don't know if I, I don't know if I like this one or not. Like I liked it because it was definitely a darker creepypasta, and it's very if, to me, anyways. It feels very well written, um, but I don't know. I just don't like that the like. It's just a very. It just suddenly it's very dark and twisted. Um, and maybe it's just because I don't like that kind of subject matter when it comes up in some of these. Um, it just feels like an accident. Like it was. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel much so much as a creepypasta as it is just a horrible accident. <laughs> It, it's like um the thing is it's about him leaving up his phone on the counter yeah and then you and know like, it equates that 
to him forgetting to drop his daughter off at daycare and forgetting her in the car For all day in a hot yeah in the hot sun and, it's and like the the dog that's ca- kind of where happened. I don't well no it's like a baby in the car yeah baby or well the same it's the same kind of premise like the the dog or the baby I, I don't mean they're both the same I mean like the yes the, the it's horrible for both yeah. because they will die exactly. a terrible death yeah yes <laughs> but he's trying to equate that horrible thing to a leaving a f- leaving your phone on the, like forgetting that your phone is on the well, fucking counter instead the way, of in your pocket yeah and like even in this instance of brain fartery they're not the same thing no um to forget okay yeah to forget his phone it had to be dying so he had to like you said he had to break his routine yeah for him to not drop his daughter off he had to forget. He had to not be on autopilot and forget to turn into the daycare. Yeah. He had to, like, let's just say he took the exact same route. He still had to drive by the daycare while apparently being on autopilot. Yeah. Autopilot um, would have had him putting on his signal and turning into the daycare. Yeah. Autopilot would have had him, you know, get his kid out of the car. His brain wouldn't skip over the stop. Yeah, I, that's that's one thing. This, like, is, unless this is my thought process yeah. here. Whereas the phone, there was a change. You know, when he got out of the shower, I don't know where he puts his phone, but his yeah, phone I mean, was yeah. supposed to be in his jacket pocket, in his briefcase, whatever. Yeah, exactly, yeah. When he got to work, he was supposed to have stopped. Yeah. He should be getting out of the car thinking, you know, I've been sitting for a while. <laughs> yeah. Like... You know what I mean? Like they're just—they're not the same thing, even in the context of this autopilot th- theory. The—the the thing I'm thinking of that maybe the writer was trying to get across was that he was using that as a means of like hiding what the actual twist was. Was that he was using that as the cover? Yeah, but he like, did it poorly. Is what I'm okay. saying. He—I I know what he was trying to do. He was trying to be deep and you know intelligent and. Yeah, not really thought provoking, but he was trying to be sneaky. Yeah, and he did it poorly because the two things, like I say, in this story, don't even have a parallel. Let alone the fact that just in general, these are two very different fucking mistakes. Oh yeah, like this one's like like life changing. One is like, <laughs> oh, oh shit, is legit- how will people Dang. know what I ate for lunch? Yeah, the other one is. Oh, my progeny is my gone. my my entire life is probably gonna be changing now because you know I don't have my kid. I imagine the wife is not going to feel the same from... way about me anymore. Yeah. Um. Let Let's just like at best you're looking at facing criminal negligence. Yeah. Charges. I mean. There's going to be a there there's are, going to be an investigation. There's involved. going to be a shit ton of ramifications about this. Yeah, yeah. You left a you let a child <clears throat> die in so, a nine hour period. <clears throat> like just ignoring that, but even with the yeah. with this whole, I can forget things easily because you just switch into autopilot again. Like uh, hmm. he, he put his he plug he put his phone on the counter charging as opposed to putting it in his briefcase or his jacket or his pocket whatever and then went and had a shower yeah so he had a shower to forget that my phone is not in my briefcase yeah let's say that i can buy that Mm -hmm. which i really can't i know i know it does happen like all the time but yeah i just i don't understand why um you're a higher being than most people (laughs) and then well thank you i do like to think so uh (laughs) so humble um but him forgetting to drop off his kid, like I say, she she hides away from the bad sons so yeah, that she and can get a little nappy pie yeah. on her way to nursery. And I believe it does and mention... I, yeah, and that's yeah. why he forgets her, but yeah. he's yeah, on no, an it's autopilot. Still, yeah, he exactly. still should have stopped. Yeah, like, unless the... Um, like, we never get it, but because like, uh, it's brought up again in the comics, it's like uh, comments where, like, the guy um, usually doesn't... Like, the, the, the real-life thing, the guy never actually, like, didn't do this, like, often enough. Like, he never actually did, like, 
like br- dropped his child off. It was used the, the wife. So, but we never get that in this story. So that's it, it not in the story. I don't so know. It doesn't I, count. I, like I'm saying, like I, I'm not trying to say that that's why, but I'm just saying like we don't get that in the story. So that loophole is kind of broken. Like that, I'm agreeing with you on that. Is like it doesn't really his routine as far as we are aware because the story hasn't told us any differently is that he goes by that dro- that place five and days drops a week. Kids. He drops the daughter off at <clears throat> at daycare. Like, and goes to work. Yeah. And then on his way home from work, he picks, picks her, her up from daycare. Yeah. That that's his exactly. Routine. So he should have he should have seen like the markers or something of his day t- daily routine. And it's like okay, I got to stop here, I drop off my kid. Exactly. But it didn't happen like that. So yeah, it's just honestly, I could have seen it like maybe if he like if if the angle had been like he dropped off the kid and then because he lost and broke the routine by like forgetting his, by realizing he forgot his phone he didn't catch the markers the, on the drive home and then like by the time he got back to the daycare she was gone somewhere that would have been more interesting but or that would have been a different like a more believable twist but he never mentions the whole like like well, no, again like it's such the a daughter would have to disappear somehow and yeah just... then more questions that doesn't happen at daycares. Daycares are ridiculously... I mean, I'm sure it does happen, but, I mean, there are so many safeguards. Like, they yeah. are so careful about that shit. Normal. Yeah. Um, that it, it's... It's actually, to me, it's more believable that someone could forget their kid in their car all day than the kid could disappear from daycare. Even though... I know one probably. I know kids probably disappear from daycare more often than parents forget them in the car. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Just- no, I yeah. It, but again, um, the thing we're trying to get across is that the routine, the, his routine, should have allowed or should have like autopiloted him to s- stop, mm-hmm. <laughs> but it didn't for some reason. So we were kind of left in this plot hole, <laughs> essentially. Yeah, because it, it yeah, just, it that doesn't make sense. And then yeah, so. I don't know. That's that's really all there is about this story. Yeah, I um, can't think of anything. Like I do, I will appreciate it for being like for going that dark route and and giving us the hints of it, like pr- like throughout the whole story. Like it, I didn't catch it until <clears throat> he noticed the the bad smell from somewhere um, because it was a really hot day and it was bl- and constantly like reminding us that there it's been a really blistering day. Well, and, and then I had I was just like, assumed oh, no. that he had dropped off his daughter because <laughs> yes, the yeah, story it, doesn't it, tell you he dropped off his daughter. But he does tell you that the story does tell you that that was his the, intent, yeah, and that he was going to. So you just assume he does. It, it kind of tries to pull the wool over our eyes. Well, no, it, it tries to lie to you, yeah, by omission. And then, yeah, <laughs> as soon as the as soon as the smell comes, you pretty much you're like, oh god, you know oh, what no. happened. It's like, oh, okay, the smell is the corpse of his daughter. Near, the, yeah, the decaying corpse of his daughter. Yeah. Isn't that just lovely? Yeah, exactly. And I was just like, damn, oh, God damn it. I gotta keep reading <laughs> and find, read this to its bitter end. Um, but I will say it was effective. Or it was, it was Okay, yeah, it was effective, but it was like, it had me like wanting to keep reading even though I knew what was going to happen. Like, I knew what was going to fall into place. See, for me, as soon as there's... <laughs> I don't know. In this case, I just, I really just felt like the child's death was really just for shock value. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and it works, but it's well, also kind of cheap. It's also kind of, a but cheap. it doesn't work for me. Yeah. When you use something just for the shock value, and I mean, maybe that wasn't the intention, but for me, that's the way it came across. Yeah. Because I, I am willing to give someone the benefit of the doubt that they weren't intending to go for shock value. But that's how it came across to me. It does come really like so. Quick. With that, so, I'm just like, <sighs> I, you know, I see what you're trying to do here. You're trying to shock me, and now I'm just pissed. You know, um, it, it it's the same reason why I just get bored with gore porn movies. Yeah. Um, you know, like shock value, shock only, shock horror only works so well to a certain degree. Exactly, um, and, and I it, mean, it's it's much easier. It's it's. It's the cheat. It's pe- it's it's the cheapest of them, and that's why it gets done it's so much. It's easy to use. Yeah. It's it's horribly to difficult to use well. Yeah, and I mean, like there are some occasions where yeah, it is used really well. Um, you know, against my better judgment, I'm still a fan of the Saw franchise. But yeah, you know, but in my opinion, they did it well. Um, they had. But anywho, that that's it. Yeah. Just yeah, that's a tangent. Uh <laughs> 
<laughs> we're like we do those on this show. <laughs> this this instance, like child death, it just it it it's... feels like they used child like they killed a kid just to kill a kid and get the reaction from it. Yeah, because they knew it would work. Because it does. Whereas you know, other thing like other things, other stories, movies, they kill a kid and it. it it's to make a point, not to just like, oh yeah, we killed a kid. Do you feel now? Yeah, you know. <clears throat> yeah, they do it to like get a reaction out of people. And that's why because we, it's the sympathy <clears throat> bar. It's the sympathy angle. Yeah, but in this instance, it just it, it was backfires just, because yeah. it was used to elicit a specific response. And well, I'm a bit of a contrarian. I don't know if people know this yet. Um, <laughs> so when you tell me to feel this, I'm going to say. Nope. <laughs> nice. Um, I mean, I did like, I, like I said, like I had the kind of opposite. Effect. I had the probably the effect of what a few people had with it, where it's just like, uh, crap. All right, let's keep reading. All right, yeah, that happened. Fuck. <laughs> and you kind of feel bad at the end of it because, it's like, well, that guy's life is ruined. That child is dead. It felt like I was reading an article <laughs> from a paper. <laughs> And maybe that's just because of my background and shit, but I don't know. See, I just re- I just felt dirty. I yeah, felt cheap that looked- afterwards. Okay, yeah. I I felt like you know, just used. <laughs> like they're trying to like they 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 knew it would draw some kind of uh, reaction, so and they're just yeah. pulling yeah. And it's just you know I I I can see that yeah. I, I I expect more from people from things mm-hmm. than to go for that. Um, but yeah, it just I don't know. I I didn't like this. It was well written technically. Yeah, like it, it definitely like it wasn't. It's it's been. I just don't than, think it should have been written. Yeah, that that's where I'm coming from. Like, it it's not much of a creepy pasta so much as just a really tra- as a tragedy. <laughs> well, and I don't even care if it's a creepy pasta. I just don't think it should have been written. I don't. I don't see the point to this. There's no point. Aside from shock value, but... Well, yeah, yeah, but there's no point to that. It's just... I don't know. He was trying to be thought-provoking, but also giving us a shock. Because he's going on about this... There was no thought! There was no thought! Yeah, he was trying to, and you know what that was? That was pretentious bullshit. Because I read through that, and I was just like, Oh, okay, you know what? I can fund 30 different studies to prove 30 contrary things. Like... I can, I can find the data to prove thirty things that disagree with each other. Yeah, it's not difficult. So, whenever people cite, you know, oh, it's been scientifically proven, I'm like, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Did the people who scienced the proof know a damn thing about the scientific process and did they know how to be objective with their science? Because you know what? fault of humanity, we kind of don't know how to be objective. When we th- when we think we can prove something, we, are we tend to. to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, so, yeah, that whole thing, and it just, the whole autopilot thing, like, yeah, I get it. I can't remember every step of my shower this morning. I can tell you what they were, mm-hmm. because they are the same, you know, they're the same steps every morning. However, if I didn't have soap in the shower, during my shower, I would still go get... I, yeah, you, you would... Step yeah. out and get fucking you soap. Just I just wouldn't be like, oh, I must have already used it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I understand like, what you mean, where you're going. It's... I mean, that was probably a shit example, but... Yeah. Like, I... I do, you don't understand... You don't... You can't I utilize autopilot, but when I make changes to my programming... I they're always in my head until they're you know I don't want to say corrected but until I've circumvented it like mm-hmm. you know shit I needed to put my pants in the dryer so when I got out of the shower they weren't you know resting where you know within arm's reach where they always are okay well I'm not gonna leave the house without fucking pants on <laughs> obviously not yeah exactly yeah but you know what like. This, the way it was explained with the whole autopilot thing in this story is that I would leave without my pants. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, this guy left his fucking daughter that in the true. car. Yeah. I don't know. What do you like... think? What do you think's less likely to happen? Leave a human being in a car? Leave 
or get to wear pants. pants. Yeah. I don't know. I would say I'm more likely to forget my pants than to forget a human being's existence. Yeah. Just the way the yeah, the way the story's written, it does, like it kind of makes it seem like this is his routine and he somehow flubbed it. <laughs> it doesn't make it seem somehow as this though this is This his is his routine. routine as far as we get It aware. states that this is his routine. Yeah. Several times. I don't <laughs> So yeah. Just yeah, I got I've got lots of problems with this story. Mm-hmm. Um, just, yeah, like I say, the whole autopilot thing. Because, yeah, you fuck up my routine. Yeah, you know what? It does kind of throw me off for the whole day. But not because I'm on autopilot, but because things aren't working out the way I seem. Yeah, you're, you're you more, know? yeah, you get angry, you get angry over the... Well, no, I don't get angry about it. I just get thrown off, mm-hmm. you know, like... I have a like I have a morning routine or you know but well I have a checklist that I do when before I leave the house. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you know what? Sometimes I fucking I leave the house without my wallet. Doesn't happen very often. No, it's usually like yeah. Why? Because I I pat my ass cuz I keep my wallet in my back pocket. I pat my ass probably about 15 times between when I start to get ready and 10, 15 minutes later when I leave the door. Yeah, to make sure that you've got everything. You, like, you're checking everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. And if it's, oh, it's not there, well, fuck. I got you know, it's when I do things in a hurry. Mm-hmm. You know, when I have to change the time frame. I don't know. Yeah, we're going... Like we're I going, say, this fucking going. autopilot thing just does not fly with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah. the auto- I, I didn't actually mean to do that, um, but by God, that was, that was a good one, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> I'm biased. The autopilot thing doesn't fly with me. The fact that he's trying to pass off for getting his cell phone on the counter equates to forgetting his daughter in the car. It's pretty... That, that, that's, yeah. that's a stretch. Yeah. Your, your taffy is thin, my friend. Um, and just... The whole "we're gonna have a dead kid" story. Yeah, it's actually not what I was expecting when I read this. When I when I heard the title too. No, I honestly awesome. figured we were going for an aviation thing. Yeah, that's what I thought too. And, and uh, I was actually happened. a little disappointed. Yeah, I do like my uh, aer- aeroplanes, <laughs> but then again, they probably would have had like a completely <laughs> devoid of human life jumbo jet land. Because it was on autopilot. Yeah. Completely not understanding what autopilot means. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, so I think we've... Pre- like, okay, I will say my... Give this dead horse? Yeah, yeah, actually, I will kick it one more time. Uh, because I will give my two cents about the autopilot thing. Um, I can kind of... Like, I know you don't... Re- you can't really conceive it because you do a lot more double-checking than I do, in the way. Um, because I've had it, actually, a couple, more than a couple of times in the last couple well, of weeks. Well, and it's not where just it that, but, like, if... If I'm off, I can't get the fact that I'm off out yeah. of my head. Like, oh yeah, if yeah. I have to plug my phone in, it's in it. It nags my brain oh, yeah. that my phone is plugged in, and I have to, you know. Usually, I'm more concerned about unplugging it before it's fully charged than you know forgetting it. But you know, it's still there, nagging at my mind that you know my phone is plugged in. My phone is plugged in. My phone is plugged yeah. in. My phone is fucking plugged in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, yeah, I like, just, like, I, I don't know, like, maybe it's just because I'm more, like, forgetful, I'm more absent-minded than the average person. I don't know. Because um, I do have those, I have those instances a little bit more. Now, again, I wouldn't forget the fu- a fucking, again, fucking child being in your in the back seat. I would not forget that. But, um... Well, I or maybe I hope not, because oh, you're quite recently an uncle. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, like, I've had those instances where I'll be driving for, to work and I'll be like, fuck, did I leave the door unlocked? Fuck, did I leave the door unlocked? Fuck, did I leave the door unlocked? Fuck. And then I plan on, like, calling uh, a neighbor or something like that when I get to work to ask them if they could just check. Because I have that, I've had that happen more than I'd like to admit. <laughs> or, okay, like, that well, kind of thing. I, I have had that whole, or like, gee, did shit. I lock the door thing? But I always just, you know what? I lock the door. Yeah, like it turns out I locked the door. Try and have to reinsure yourself, and then realize you're right at the end. of Yeah, yeah, no, but I mean, I like I get I kind of equate it to that kind of thing. I don't know. Um, Yeah, I didn't like like the story wasn't very. I don't know. It didn't feel like a creepy pasta to me, so I can't really. I don't think I could recommend this one (laughs) as a creepy pasta. The story is well written, but like the it's just a shocker 
The story is well sake. written, but I just yeah, don't like see why anyone should read it. Yeah, exactly. Like if if I wanted to read this kind of thing, I would legit read the news because <laughs> exactly. that's exactly what you see in a newspaper: is a oh, three year old uh, child dies in a uh, dies in a car because of negligence. Like that's legit. Like what this story is. <laughs> Yeah, and it's so sad, but like it's 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 really sad in like real life. Kind oh of yeah, misery. I don't want to poo poo yeah, yeah, yeah. on the actual <laughs> like horrible events this is that happen sometimes. A legit a thing. And however, like if someone forgets their kid in the vehicle for eight, nine, ten hours, yeah, you know what? That's horrible because it ca- not- a kid dies. That is horrible. However, their parent is a fucking moron. Yes, exactly. Um, and I'm like. I don't know, and, like, and that's the point that I'm trying to yeah. make. <laughs> like, entertainment value wise, I couldn't recommend this because to me, this wasn't really entertaining to read. <laughs> Once, like, by the by that by the point where I was like, oh shit, I know it's coming. I don't really want to read re- the rest of this, but I kind of have to. Yeah, and we and both we both knew what was happening. Like, we both through. picked up on it at the same point. Yeah. So it's. It's kind of one of those things where it's only hidden until you actually have enough information to reach the conclusion. Yeah, it's... And then once you once you have that much information, nobody's going to be in the dark anymore. No. Like, it's just... Everybody's going to be like, oh, he forgot the kid in the car. And that's where... Oh, Oh, God. What? How did you forget the kid in the car? (laughs) Yeah. And then that's where you're left asking that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But, yeah. I don't even. I didn't even ask those questions while I was reading it. I was just like dreading the outcome of what had just been hinted, or what had just been blatantly told to the audience, <laughs> because it is pretty much to- like it's it's hint. It, he tries to hint at it, but it's kind of blatant when when you realize what's going on. Yeah. Um. But like, yeah, not until we like started talking about it. Like, did I like start poking holes at it? Like, you have poked holes at it initially. So from that standpoint, from both standpoints, I don't think we can either. <laughs> really oh god no no i don't (laughs) unfortunately like i said mechanically there's nothing wrong with it um but i mean it's it's a cheap twist it's done cheaply it's nothing it's something you don't want it's nothing you really want to read it's like the right moment but exactly but um um, it's just so yeah yeah. it's yeah it's it's a stupid story about a stupid man yeah and his stupid action, his stupid forgetfulness. Yeah, and or negligence, because yeah, uh, yeah, it was yeah, just not for read <laughs> when you when you got to the final bit of it. So um, I guess that's really it, because I don't think we have we we've kind of harped on this one a little bit, uh, yeah, or at least on the concept. of I'm it. I'm starting to feel like a broken record. Yeah, exactly. Broken um, record. And a that's, broken record. A broken record. <laughs> and that's our uh, cue to uh, end the show. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, if you like what we, uh, how we discuss this, um, or have a comment about it, leave a comment in the comment section below wherever this gets posted on Kiwi6, YouTube, Facebook, uh, we, it, we are on iTunes, so send us a review, let us know how we're doing, that'd be awesome of you. Um, we're both on Twitter, at Dr. Leviathan and Review Cultist, uh, and, uh, we're also on Tumblr, uh, where, uh, we have, um, uh, direct links and a title card for each episode. So... I guess, oh, also the uh, email um, at aldente rigamortis at gmail.com. That's A L D E N T E R I G A M O R T I S at gmail.com, where you can send us suggestions for other creepypastas you'd like us to discuss on the show. So until next time, I have been your host, Review Cultist. And I'm still Dr. Leviathan. And this has been Aldente Rigamortis. Sleep well.